This is a gray modern house and lot for sale here in Venaren Valley. It's got four bedrooms, four toilet and baths, and a two vehicle carport. And all I can say is it has a very handsome facade, a very light and airy interior. And if you want to see the rest of it, make sure you stick around till the end of the video. Today, we'll be going around a brand new house and not for sale in Venare, Nuvali. But first, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook, so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at Pricello underscore official. My name is Julia and welcome to another Pricello open house tour. As I mentioned just a few seconds ago, we are in Venare, which is an exclusive subdivision here in uh, Nuvali. So from the road, you don't really see any gates because there's no need. It is a very safe subdivision and honestly, all the houses here look really good, especially this one. So you have here a very dark aesthetic, so from the road it looks very handsome. You're seeing matte black, you're seeing concrete like, um, or rather concrete textures. You're seeing tiles that also kind of look like concrete or stone and then you've got wood, of course. Here on the left side, you have a two vehicle car port one side of which your perimeter wall is a nice uh oops, it's super windy nicest wall of black but it's still interesting because you have texture and lots of layers you have white for the ceiling you still have a few lines just to add a little detail and then different shades of gray you also have access to the side of the house here on the left side where the wind is funneling honestly so if i go there actually it's gonna uh tamper with the mic you're gonna hear so much wind noise so we're not gonna go there yet let's go here instead so you have a very lush garden as you can tell and it goes all the way to the side and out the back which will be quite obvious later when you go in so here is your main entrance sorry and lap it no <laughs> but it's a very very tall main entrance solid wood with a matte black handle as well as a door lock here, a digital door lock here. So let's go in. Sorry, not a correction, not a digital door lock. Door lock. <laughs> door lock. It's a mechanical one. Okay, so as you open the main entrance, this open area will welcome you. And what do you see? White. Just white and a few blacks for the texture on the flooring, the veins of the marble-like tiles. And then the blacks, for the, or rather the matte blacks for the frame of the sliding glass doors and windows, as well as your kitchen countertops. So obviously you have open layout here. You have your living, your dining, and then your kitchen. Now your kitchen is finely accentuated by your lighting, which I don't know about you, but this to me looks like ice cubes. It's actually quite fascinating. No? No. I don't know, I guess it's the first time I'm seeing this, but it literally does look like ice cubes, it's nice. And then over here, you have more of the ice cubes. <laughs> you have an island counter with a waterfall countertop, here. Storage underneath, and then this is your provision for your refrigerator. You have your built-in microwave, and a rather oven. And then your L-shaped counter over here with a sink and an induction stove. Just in case it wasn't obvious because everything is just black, everything is flush. You also have a, um, <sighs> what I'm remembering now is graphical, but that's a brand name, not sponsored by the way. But uh, you have this backsplash, which you can write on if you want to. And then of course you have storage everywhere. Right next to your kitchen or just beside your refrigerator, you have a swing door with a glass panel that leads to the daily kitchen. So it's still high ceiling, and then you have your sink, your gas stove or your gas range, and the provision for maybe another refrigerator or any other appliance that you may want it to be. 
And again, you have a lot of storage. And then another door that will lead to the back of the house. So you have more garden space, as well as a built-in sink over here. Oh my goodness! <laughs> the mic! <laughs> and then you have here your uh, storage room or, well, it's basically storage room and then access back to the two vehicle carport. Let's go back to the other side. I feel like I, this isn't really doing much. I'm sorry, the mic is loud. And then you have access all the way around and another storage room. Oop, let's go back in. Then on this side of the daily kitchen, you have access to the staff quarters, which has an ensuite, toilet and bath. Okay, so now that you can see this so from the kitchen, you can see your dining and your living, right? You also have... <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. You also have access to glass sliding doors and a screen that will lead you to your patio, which is partially covered. So I love that the bamboo here is super like nice to look at and it also serves as some kind of privacy, natural privacy wall, especially for the second floor, you'll see it in a bit. And again, you can go back out to the front or to the back of your house. Now on the opposite side of this, you can see your stairs. I love how white it is. It's, it's like if you don't see the window, it's just white. And that is because the stairs is just also white and then your handle is also white and it blends so well with this now you do have a few steps down so two steps down you will see bedroom number one or your entertainment room so this was set up to be an entertainment room especially since you have your uh outlets over there so quite a the theater room if you want but if you need it as a bedroom also not a problem it's here on the ground floor it can be your granny room and it also comes with the built-in wardrobe anyway. So to you, bedroom or den or theater or even office. And then two steps down, you have your guest accessible toilet and bath. So your sink, your toilet, and then your enclosed uh, shower space over there. So if ever you do turn this one into a bedroom, then their toilet and bath is going to be this one. And then, under the stairs, you have storage. And I love how they painted it gray. So I don't know. Wait. I'm not sure if... Okay. Light switch isn't there yet. <laughs> but it's gray and also the breakers are there for easy maintenance. Alright. So that is it for the ground floor. Let's head up the second. But before we do, make sure you hit like and click subscribe if you haven't because it lets us know that you enjoy these videos and we love making them for you. So it gives us a thumbs up and a heads up to keep making more. So everything looks so clean. Like the corners are just clean, clean. And even the steps here, I don't know if you guys notice. It's just, everything is flush. I guess is what I'm trying to say. That's why it looks so minimalist. Yes, that's exactly it. So minimalist. You do have a window here by the stairs. The middle portion is fixed. I can't see. <laughs> in the, uh, fixed place at the ass. Oh, okay. So those are all fixed. But these ones you can open. So these are awning windows. You can open them up and they already come with screens. So this allows lots of natural light to enter the space and you don't need to turn on your light, especially during the day. But now that it's about to uh, reach nighttime, honestly, it's still pretty bright, but at least you can see all of the lights turned on and they are smaller pin lights and very much enough to light the entire place. This is what I was talking about. Oh my goodness, <laughs> the wind. I love this subdivision. I love how windy it always is here. Anyway, look at the bamboo uh, leaves. It's just partially covering. The, this area for privacy, you know. I love it. Anyways, oh, also, the outdoor units for your AC, they're hidden there, behind horizontal slats. So from the outside, you don't see those units. And you see it from here, but, I mean, how else are you gonna maintain it, right? So it's easier, at least. 
Okay, so this is your family area. You already have your outlets here all around, so it's up to you how you want to configure it. Although based off of the placement of the outlets, this is where your couch is going to go, and that's where your TV is going to go. And then on this side, we have these vertical slats, and I think it's pretty obvious already that they are storage. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so these can be easily configured. You can just lift these. So if you don't really need this one, you need a taller space, so you can just take that, take that one out, etc. Very modular, love it. Okay, so basically this entire area is a short hallway. So we have two doors over here. Let's go through this one first. Oh, look at it, it's so bright. So this is bedroom number two. Obviously this is where your bed is supposed to go. This is your headboard already with your lights on either side as well as switches and outlets. So it's easier. Lots of windows. Again, during the day, it's gonna be super bright. And then at night, your lights are already really, really bright. So hindi kayo magkukulang sa ilaw dito. This room though has a view of that. Wow. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, <na i> <laughs> Alright, so anyway, look at the sky. It's so nice. Oh, um, also here you can see that there's a bit of um, construction materials or what have you. But actually that's just gonna be a uh, vacant lot. So that's just temporary if you're seeing anything. And then on this side, you have the ensuite, toilet and bath, with your sink, your toilet, and then your enclosed shower space is over here. It is technically a square toilet and bath, but they configured it in such a way that it moves towards the shower, and I feel like that's really, really nice. It offers privacy. Just in case someone enters your toilet and bath and you didn't lock your door, I don't know if that for me brings comfort. <laughs> Traumatic experiences. <laughs> and then on this side, it looks like a wall, but it is your wardrobe. With a very minimalist handle, mind you. Okay. And then right next to this one, we have bedroom number three. Still very windy, but it's a different layout now. So that is your headboard with your lights on either side. You still have a window here facing the mountains. I don't think it's. Oops, sorry, I forgot to close the door. Yeah. Anyways, so you see that? You have the mountains over there. Beautiful view. And then, again, as I mentioned, that's the headboard. And then this is the ensuite toilet and bath. So your wardrobe is L shaped. And you have your sink, your enclosed shower space. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to And your toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't be the only one. Let me add it and take it. There you go. And then finally, across the hall, we have the master bedroom or bedroom number four. So, this is obviously a much bigger space because it is the master bedroom. And also, just look at that window. That is going to bring you a lot of natural light and air because I don't know if you can tell there's actually a screen panel so obviously this one is the glass because of the reflection this is just a screen panel and it's massive <laughs> and you can see the sunset from this direction so I'm sure there are going to be some days where the sunset is going to be gorgeous and then you also have window a window on that side and then here it's the solid wall where you ideally might want to put your TV, but you can also put it here, I suppose, because there are outlets there. Very definitely, dito yung kama. This is where your head headboard is going to be. There's no built-in headboard, so it's up to you. That's going to come with your bed, I suppose. But the outlets here, for the for the ones on either side of the bed, it's there for convenience. And then here you have your ensuite, toilet and bath. You have wardrobe space over here with uh, mirrors for the doors. Lots of storage space, a very minimalist bathtub right next to a frosted window so you don't have to worry about privacy. And then your his and her sinks, aren't they so pretty? I think they're so pretty. And ah, my favorite part, 
you have your toilet, enclosed toilet on this side, and your enclosed shower on this side. And it's still frosted here in the middle portion, so of course, even if you were spouses, but sometimes you just want your privacy. It's not a problem. You're not fully exposed, but it still feels open because the top part isn't frosted. And also, can I just say, that's a really high ceiling. Like your shower and toilet area has a higher ceiling line than the rest of the toilet and bath. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting. And I especially appreciate it because you can see your window that's also really, really tall. Okay, so that is it for the second floor. I love how simple this house seems because it is. Oh wow, even when you go out the door and lock and lock some hanging. It seems simple and it is, but it's also very intricate in the way it was designed, the way it was built, and the way you will use this space which makes it easy to use. That's how great design works, right? You design something that's well thought of or thought out, makes it easy to use. All right, time for a recap. Okay, so you have 310 square meters of floor area and 242 square meters of lot area. Four bedrooms, four toilet and baths, and a two vehicle car port. You have two stories, you have a patio out here, but more importantly, I think what I really like about this house is, again, as I mentioned earlier, just how minimalist it is. And then it's up to you how you want to style the place. You can, you can splash it with a ton of color using your furniture, or you can keep it as minimalist and, and maintain this sort of stark but still very homey vibe. I love how everything, almost every room has high ceiling, they have ample storage for everything. You, have, you do have a staff room and garden space all around. And again, this is in Venare, New Valley. And that's the reason why there's no gate, because there's no need to. It's a very private subdivision. It's very safe. So if you're anyone you know is interested in a place like this, send this video to them. Or if you want to see it for yourself, send us a message. Or go to our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here. <laughs> Wait. Wait.